What I miss? Let's find out. So it looks like F. Gary Gray is going to be handling multiple franchises soon because now he's going to be handling the Mask franchise for Paramount by Hasbro. Now originally I thought this news meant that he was no longer going to be handling the Men in Black spinoff starring Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson. But nope, apparently he's, he's still going to be directing that and directing this. What'll be funny is that both of these movies end up becoming the most successiest of successes. Because not only will the star Grey pretty much down the path of becoming the Dwayne The Rock Johnson of movie directors, but at the same time it will pretty much solidify the one truth about black America trying to succeed in anything here. You have to be what? Twice as good. Twice as good as them to get half what they have. Steven Spielberg is the next director announced to helm an adaptation of a DC Comics property for Warner Brothers, this one being Black Hawk. Now he won't be working on this movie immediately since he still has the Indiana Jones movie on his appetizer plate and has the remake of the West Side Story movie as his main course. Also, both considering the time period and the fact that the press release doesn't really state it anywhere, while there's definitely a slim chance that it is, there's no confirmation from either Warner Brothers, DC, or Spielberg himself that the movie takes place in the DCEU. More than likely, it's one of those pieces that Warner Brothers and DC films are making that has no connection to the DCEU, like Ava DuVernay's New Gods movie. But at the same time, we're not completely sure about that shit either. Personally, I don't think this movie needs to be associated with the DCEU, but at this point, it, it's whatever. Like, call me when the Aquaman and Shazam movies come out, real talk. So not only is Vin Diesel buying the movie rights to Triple X, but he's also making a part four. This is happening after a combination of multiple things happened after the original talks of making a Triple X 4 fell out with Paramount. One, the film did ridiculously well in China, like holy shit. Two, he's partnering with a finance company called The H Collective in order to make this deal go through. And three, the director of The Return of Xander Cage is already on board for the fourth one. So if you factor in this, the Fast and the Furious franchise, his role as Groot in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and the fact that he's going to be the cinematic version of Bloodshot in the Valiant Cinematic Universe over at Sony, not only is Vin Diesel doing his own thing, but his own thing seems to be working out in his favor, and I'm, I'm not mad at him at all. How to Train Your Dragon 3 is happening and now has an official subtitle. DreamWorks Animation revealed the news over on their Twitter account, revealing the official title to be How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, and that it's scheduled to be released on March 1st, 2019. Awesome! That's great to hear. I really enjoyed the first two movies. Between this franchise and Kung Fu Panda, DreamWorks has been doing some pretty decent stuff with their movie properties that I'm totally here for. You know, as long as it's not Boss Baby. I completely forgot that that movie existed for a minute. I wish that was still a thing. And speaking of DreamWorks, Guillermo del Toro has signed an exclusive deal with DreamWorks Animation and I am here for it. Why? Because he's going to be writing, producing, and possibly directing animated features for the studios with one already in production. This is more than likely due to the success of his Netflix show Troll Hunters that he made through DreamWorks Animation, which immediately reminds me that I have I have to watch that now. As far as new original IPs that he'll be making through DreamWorks Animation, yes, please. Shit, I reacted the same way when I found out he made a similar deal with live action movies over at Fox Searchlight. Bitch, I need all of it. Give me a reason to thankfully blame Del Toro for the next generation of monster lovers and furries. I'm here for everything. Anyway, readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comments section below any news stories that I might have missed and I'll make sure to try and cover them next week. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every other Friday. But until then, this is Readers 101. Class dismissed.